this is going to be William. I mean, it seems like people are very enthusiastic about him. And so let's find out what we can find out. I hope you like the video. If you do like the video, please do like it. And if you haven't subscribed, I know you're watching. It makes a big difference if you subscribe. It's not hard to do. Please just subscribe. And thank you very, very, very much for watching. I am Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. It seems like a lot of people feel like William should be the one to step up next and not Charles. Um, there's a lot of questions about that. There's enthusiasm around that. So I've got a few questions. I've got four of them, as a matter of fact, and that's what we'll dig into. I don't know. It seems obvious to me. People want to know, will the monarchy even survive for William to be king? So that's the first question. Number two is, will William take the throne in 10 years? That specific amount of time. And after 10 years from now, will William be taking the throne? That's reasonable. I mean, Charles is not a young man. Uh, number three, will Catherine eventually become the queen mum? And what does that mean? That means will George be king, her son? So um, will Catherine eventually become the queen mum? That's the uh, third question. Then number four, which will be a full Celtic cross with two parts. And uh, the first part will be, will the British public respect William as king? because some people are, are kind of questioning his conduct right now. Not many, but a few. So will the British people respect uh, William as king, given he, if he becomes king? And then the second part, will the British public uh, respect Catherine as queen? And I think that's a pretty one, easy one to answer, but we'll ask the cards anyway. So let's see what the cards tell us. Okay, so this is the newest edition. This is uh, the second time I purchased from this group. Uh, and uh, the, these cards are called Revival Art Tarot Second Edition. And uh, they're from Toracho uh, Studios, which you can see right here. And they come to me, for, I think it's from Russia via the Netherlands. But uh, they're a lot of money, and um, but they're beautiful cards, and you'll see. So they come in a very typical little cardboard box. No big deal there at all. Um, then the um, instruction booklet, again, is not uh, anything to write home about. It's just a typical little instruction booklet. The one good thing is that it is easily uh, read. And uh, in the uh, regular, uh, in the lower arcana cards, they've got an extra card in each uh, suit. So, you know, you've got cups, wands, swords, and uh, I can never think of the forward suit off the top of my head, uh, pinnacles. Uh, but so you, they go all the way to the ten of, of swords, for instance. The next one then should be a page. But here we have a princess of swords. And then after the princess of swords, you still get the page, the knight, the queen, and the king. So you have one extra card for each of those four suits. So instead of 78, uh, 79, uh, 80, 81, 82 cards total in the pack. So that's interesting. So if that princess um, confused you, you could just take those four cards out and use them for some special occasion or never use them at all, or put them in there. And uh, this gives you an idea of how to divine the extra card. Uh, so very interesting. Then the cards themselves, they're really good stock. Uh, once you get them broken in, and what I mean by that is, you know, when they come off uh, production, they're really pressed together, and there's no air between the cards, and you can't hardly get between them. So it takes a little bit of shuffling and, and getting them uh, some air between the cards uh, before they're usable, really, and, uh, and not sticking to each other. And then the back of them is beautiful, and I haven't discovered anything particularly unusual about the back, um, except maybe until this very minute. Let's see. If you have the cards this way, you'll notice that there's a very small little rose right here. So if you see that small rose here up at the right-hand corner, then you know this card is going to be upright as it should. However, if this card was inverted, that small little rose becomes two roses. Okay, so if you see it, two roses up here rather than one, then you know that card is going to be inverted. So that's the example. Uh, I like knowing that. I don't know. It just gives you a little edge uh, when you're dealing the cards. And now I can straighten them out and not have to turn it over. I know that this, this is uh, inverted and this is straight. 
Now, to look at this art is amazing. And each one of these is a work of art that's referenced in the guidebook. For instance, uh, if I look at this uh, fool, number one, of the major arcana, and it tells me that the fool uh, is, in fact, the name of that piece of art is called A Jester by Philippe Mercier. And um, and then it gives me the uh, divination for the card, uh, beginnings, uh, possibilities, pleasure, etc. The next card, The Magician, if you were to see that one, that is a work of art called The Astronomer by uh, Candlelight. The Astronomer by Candlelight. And it's by, I guess it's going to be Gary Du. So uh, my foreign pronunciations aren't very good, but I do give it a try. So the cards themselves, you can see they go right to the edge of the card. They're beautiful pieces of art. And Thought has gone into choosing these cards for the um, uh, position they stand for. The one thing uh, that's not uh, evidence, for instance, um, they're not always um, clear that, for instance, a Two of Pentacles is a Two of Pentacles. It might not have Two Pentacles on the card to tell you that. So they're a little um, interesting there. You should kind of look through the cards and understand what each one stands for first. But, I mean, look at them. They are absolutely beautiful. And it always feels to me like uh, intention has gone into making the selections of these actual pieces of art before uh, they uh, turn them into uh, tarot cards. And I like that. And I think you like them, too. Okay, so this is about William. But you know what we're going to do first? It's just a little short meditation. That's all it takes. Okay, so William, first of four questions, and these first three will be just three card draws. Will the monarchy survive for William to be king? Wow, so will the monarchy survive for William? To be king. Wow, these are difficult. Difficult to shuffle. Let's uh, do this. Let's see if we can get some air between these cards. And what fell out of the pack was the Seven of Swords, uh, which is um, theft and betrayal, and then the Nine of Cups, which is uh, wishes fulfilled. So, will the monarchy survive for William? Will the monarchy survive for William to be king? I need to give these a good shuffle for this. They don't want to cooperate. Will the monarchy survive for William to be king? Will the monarchy survive for William to be king? Three cards. One, two, and three. Will monarchy survive for William to be king with these three cards? First card. Okay. Oh, this is the lovers of the major arcana. So yeah, this is a, a good yes card. This is finding the perfect match, uh, the, the long-term uh, heartfelt uh, pairing. So it looks like yes. The second card for that is this King of Cups. Okay, so it looks like uh, he's going to come out as the King of Emotion Compassion. Look at this beautiful, happy, uh, talented, um, appreciative King. That's beautiful. And then the last card for that is the Knight of Wands. Wands are planning, forward movement, um, uh, plans, uh, actions, and uh, the Knight of Wands shows that, yeah, he's going to be the man who is going to uh, take control of what has to happen here. So will um, the monarchy survive for William to be king? We show uh, the, just the right pairing is found. Uh, it shows uh, William as the king of, of cups, emotion, compassion. And then it also shows William as the knight of wands, having a plan and fighting for it. That's really beautiful. Okay, so the next question out of four, and this will be three cards, is will William take the throne in 10 years or less? Will William take the throne in 10 years or less? Will William take the throne in 10 years or less? Will William take the throne in 10 years or less? Three cards. One, two, three. Will William take the throne in 10 years or less? First card out of the rack is the tower. This is a no card. Okay, so 10 years or less, it looks like it, it can't happen. The next card out of the rack is the hermit. Introspection, 
studying a situation before you take a step forward. Wow. And the last card out of that is the Knight of Coins. Okay, no more than the Knight, extremely valuable, and he understands that. So no, it won't be 10 years or less. It'll be more than 10 years when he takes the throne. We get out of the out of the rank with a tower card. No, this is a no, that won't happen. The hermit showing introspection, waiting, 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 and studying until it's your time to step forward, to move forward. And then the knight of coins, understanding your value. Coins are value worth. Uh, and he's only a knight. Okay, that's beautiful. Amazing. So it'll be uh, more than 10 years before he takes the throne. If he takes the throne. The third card will Catherine eventually become the Queen Mum. And that means that George, her son, will be king. So will Catherine eventually become the Queen Mum, the Queen Mother? Will Catherine eventually become the Queen Mother? And so this is a roundabout way of seeing if George is going to make it to the throne. Of course, she could be the Queen Mum of one of the other two children, too. So will Catherine eventually be the Queen Mum? And this is three cards. One, two, three. Will Catherine eventually be the Queen Mum? Queen Mother. First card. Okay, so this is the Eight of Coins. This is the Apprentice practicing your craft. And look at that. This is who she would be at that point. She would be the well-practiced um, uh, woman who's uh, learned her craft. This is an old woman, very studious, knowing exactly what she's doing. This sort of represents what a queen mother is. The next card for that is the Knight of Coins. Okay, just like with William, I love when the cards repeat, understanding her value. At that point, that she's a queen mom. She's not a queen or a king. She is a knight of value value to the monarchy. And the third card then is the tower. Wow. So the tower is an absolute complete end. You know what? I'm wondering if something doesn't happen, gosh, to cause uh, an interruption of whomever does take the throne after William. Wow. But she remains the queen mum on the left. It could pass from one of her children to the next one. That's very interesting. I'll have to follow that up in a future reading. I don't want to do it right now. My my, my uh, mind just isn't there. That's very interesting. And then the last question, which will be uh, a full Celtic cross. Will the British public respect William as king? And will the British public respect Catherine? Will the British public respect William as king? Okay. Will the British public respect William as king? Six cards. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Will the British public respect William as king? My goodness. Sadly, most of us won't be alive to know the answer to this. Uh, the world card. Wow. That's a beautiful completion of a cycle. So, yeah, he's going to complete his uh, cycle as king. Uh, the challenge to that is the nine, the nine or the knight, the nine. Yes, this is the nine. Is this the nine of swords? I got to turn on the light here. Yeah. The, oh, the nine of wands. Interesting. So the nine of wands. The nine of wands is feeling embattled. So it looks like at some point. Um, at the completion of the cycle, or for the completion of the cycle, he's going to be embattled. The base of this reading is the Four of Swords. Wow. The Four of Swords is really... Oh, I'm just uh, hung up on this. Uh, the Four of Swords is really having to take a break, having to take a rest. And this uh, fella here is very uh, sullen about that having to happen. Looks very disturbed about that. Interesting. The past of this reading, then, is the uh, page... Of wands again wands are uh, plans uh, actions forward movement and the past of this is a weak uh, representation of planning the uh, sky of this reading with the two of cups is finding that uh, cups are emotion compassion is finding that perfect uh, partnership oh my gosh I wonder if this is Charlotte I wonder if, if she's eventually wow okay the uh, likely outcome of the first part of this, and the question being, will the British Republic respect William as king? Oh my gosh. 
Um, and this is the uh, six of uh, coins. And the six of coins is doling out the value, doling out that coins are value worth. And this woman is doling out that value. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Is it Charlotte that's going to ascend to the throne? The last, I'm going to have to ask that in a different question because I'm not ready for it this time. And then, <coughs> will the British public <coughs> respect Catherine, Catherine as queen? The um, self of that question is a ten of coins, and this is happy family. And look at her. This is a woman with three children, two boys and a girl, and the girl's in her lap. Wow. Next card. The environment that that's in. This is the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is a lot of issues coming at you at the same time. Oh my goodness. The hopes and the fears for this, with this Nine of Coins, is um, really being a wash in in all the value that you need, more than enough. Oh my God, I think this is Catherine, uh, uh, Charlotte. Wow. And then the final outcome for that, uh, will Catherine be respected as queen. Wow. The king of swords. Um, yeah. Uh, truth, justice, rules, law. She, Catherine will effectively be, uh, emotionally speaking, not, not literally, but the king of swords, the person who's standing up for the rule of law. So something here puts Catherine in the position, in my mind, of uh, uh, being the one to say, Charlotte, at this point, whatever it is, is the one that has to advance. So it could be that George takes it for a while. Something happens to George before then. Wow, this is this is uh, amazing. Well, those are the answers. Uh, you know, tell me what you think about it. Uh, you may have a completely different take on that than I did. And uh, you know, by the way. Tell me what you want to know. Put it in the comments. Ask me questions. I'll answer those questions. Believe me. So let's do that. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now. One, two, three. You really make a big difference. Thank you.